we're going to be getting our acceleration here with the uh, Sentra. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2022 Nissan Sentra SR. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Nissan here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with the Sentra. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic transmission. Power outputs are 149 horsepower and then 146 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 28 around town and then 37 on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the Sentra. And first off, this car absolutely pops with the two-tone paint. You've got the black on the roof and then the blue on the bottom of the car. And it just, it looks fantastic. You can see the really nice body lines here on the hood. Coming down below, we've got the reflector LED lights right here, and then you can see the fog light right there in that area and how it's blacked out with the accenting, and then all around the grill right here. Uh, but notice how this um, kind of contrasts everything. We have the Nissan logo that doubles as a sensor, and yeah, overall, I think this car looks great. Like, as soon as I saw this when I rolled up today, I was like, wow, gotta film it. Coming around the side here, I've got two 15 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you see the design here with the wheel itself. You have the silver on the top and the black on the bottom. I think that looks really cool. And yeah, so yeah, big positive on the wheel. Now moving from that, notice the mirrors are blacked out and the like I said earlier, this has the two tone paint job, which is an extra uh, option. I think it costs like 250 bucks. I think it's worth it. I mean, look how cool that looks from the side profile. So here's our key fob. We have the remote start there at the top. We've got the lock, the unlock, and then the opening here for the trunk. Just hold that down and then it'll pop that open. And then you just have to lift it up the rest of the way yourself, which isn't difficult whatsoever. And then here is the cargo area. So notice how this is Sentra on it with the floor mat and then got the spare tire just underneath. Uh, overall, good storage space for being a smaller sized sedan. And well, that's all. So, so we go. Now here's the rear of the Sentra. So first off, notice how we have the spoiler here. And I noticed this on the Altima too, how they have the little cutout for the Nissan logo. I think that's so cool. Got your Sentra logo, you got your SR logo, and then another Sentra logo right there. We've got parking sensors here on the bottom, and then you got the exhaust tip there out the back. And yeah, overall, I think the rear looks uh, fantastic. Again, that two-tone paint really does it. Now here's the door panel in the rear. I really like the contrasted stitching and then notice how you have the padding down here. You're gonna rest your arm and then we have the carbon fiber trim. Looks cool. And then here are the seats. I'm a big fan. So you've got the cloth again with that contrasted stitching and then notice how we have the suede here in the uh, center. I think that looks fantastic. You can see the contrast there with the seats looks great. And then we'll pop in quickly. So here is the leg room. Headroom as well. We actually do get a USB here in the back, which is definitely nice. And then we have the armrest cup holder, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this open because I have gloves on. So uh, yes, it does exist. I just can't get it open because I can't get a good grip because my gloves are stupid. Let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. Again, you've got that same contrast and stitching with all of the padding all over. We've got all of our window controls. Again, the carbon fiber trim. There's a quick look at the mirror, and then you've got the mirror adjustments. And then here are the seats at the front look fantastic. You can see the contrast with all the different materials and the piping here in the center, and then the suede there in the very center. The seat is manually adjustable, got another center logo. And then here are the pedals just down below. We've got this for the gas cap release. We got that for the eco mode. That's to release the trunk. That is for the steering wheel to adjust it. It is manual, and there's one more look before we pop in. So here's our steering wheel in the Sentra. You've got leather all around the steering wheel with the contrasted stitching here. We've got a cruise control with the voice command phone controls. This does have the adaptive cruise control, which is great. We've got controls for the center stack, volume controls, all that fun stuff. We have our turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock, and that's all for the steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cluster. You've got the RPMs on the left side and the right side. You've got the speed and then you've got this menu which you can scroll through some different bits of information on the vehicle itself like your average fuel economy, all that uh, fun stuff. Pretty straightforward setup. Uh, looks good and there you go. Now here's the infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. We've got a backup camera with trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel. Uh, looks good. And then moving on from that to the rest of the infotainment system. First off, response time with it's great. Notice it has the clicking like an old school computer. 
man, does that take me, does that, I don't know if that takes you back, because it definitely uh, takes me back quite a bit. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, the infotainment system's great to use. It has the analog controls here at the bottom. More if they make the clicking sound too. Aw, oh, that's disappointing. So you gotta use the touch screen to get the clicking sound. Oh, almost got copyright there, but it was just static, so we're good. We've got a bunch of circular vents down here, and then you can see the padding here with the stitching that goes all over the dash. I think that brings things up. And then also, look here, we did more of the uh, carbon fiber trim. I think that looks nice as well. And then we have the dual zone climate controls. This is a pretty small car, so it doesn't really need it, but it's cool that it has it. And instead of saying high, it says 90 degrees, which I love. And they got the USBs here, and then we have our 12 volt, and then you got some extra storage here. Stop start button. Shifter for that CVT automatic, it does have a low range. And then notice the stitching and padding here on the side. And then more uh, carbon fiber trim with the cup holders. And then you have the center console here. You can see the storage space inside of that. And then we've got the glove box right here. We have a sunglass holder at the top. We've got the mirror dimmer, which is uh, manual. And yeah, that's all for the interior. I think they did a really good job with um, all the materials and just how uh, everything looks. Now here is the window sticker for the Sentra. Feel free to freeze the frame if you want to read all of the standard equipment with the car. And then the options with this particular one, but there's your total MSRP, $23,685. And I almost tripped on that little piece of snow. <laughs> Anyways, let's take it out and see how it drives. Now let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's the visibility of the hood. Both of the mirrors. The rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in the Sentra SR. First off, let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality. So first off, from a ride quality perspective, uh, it's actually really smooth. Um, I just drove an Altima before this and they're pretty close. Uh, the Altima might be a little bit smoother. Again, it's got a longer wheelbase, makes sense but they're, they're pretty close. So it's, it, you'd have to drive them back to back like what I just did for you to actually be able to uh, perceive the difference. Uh, aside from ride quality, road noise, yeah, it's 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 right where I'd expect it uh, with this segment. So they, they have everything uh, dialed in pretty good for $23,000. That's, that's one of the crazy things about this car is the fact that it's only uh, $23,000. I guess we'll see how the uh, tires do on this little bit of snow here. It's fine. Also, a nice thing about the Sentra is it's a pretty small size, so you can kind of squeeze in. If I was in a truck or something, I would have to be driving, like, like plowing through that uh, snow berm. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the size of this is uh, definitely, definitely nice. I will say that. Taking a turn here. Yeah, perfect. I really like the feeling of the steering wheel, too. It's definitely nice. Uh, again, it's, it's more upscale material-wise, which is nice for a car like this. And so yeah, I, I think that uh, Nissan did a good job with all that stuff. Also seats, gotta talk about the seats. So again, we've got the cloth seats with the uh, kind of like suede there in the center. They're really comfortable, um, I can say that. Uh, I think that the I, I think the center inserts are great because it kind of adds some nice uh, design to it. Uh, but yeah, the bolstering's nice. I feel like these seats hold me in place really well. And it's a really cold day today and the seats don't feel like cold or anything. They stay pretty neutral temperature wise. Uh, so overall, I think uh, again, they did a good job with that too. We're going to be getting our acceleration here with the uh, Sentra. Yeah, CVT in this is actually pretty snappy. The transitions are, are really quick actually, and it's smooth too. Uh, this is definitely one of the better CVTs out there, I will say that. I think that uh, Nissan actually does a good job with the, the feeling of their uh, CVTs. You can still tell it's a CVT, but yeah, it's, it's, it feels really nice. Uh, so that'll get me to sign things up here with this uh, Sentra. So first off, exterior-wise, I love it. The uh, two-tone paint, I think, is great. I think this is the way to get the Sentra. Two-tone, bright color, I'm all about it. Uh, Interior-wise, I think they did a good job as well. Um, they've got a bunch of, like, soft touch. We're going to rest your arm and everything on both sides, right, with the center console and on the armrest. Um, and they got stitched throughout like this. This feels like a nicer, more upscale 
uh, interior. I mean, pop into a luxury car 20 years ago and you're gonna see something similar to what this has. So I think that Nissan's done a good job with the design and the material use uh, throughout the car. Um, even though I joke with the, uh, you know, plastic that looks like carbon fiber, it's, it looks good. I, I don't care what it's made out of ultimately because unless the carbon fiber is being used to reduce weight, which in, you know, 99% of cars that have carbon fiber, it doesn't, it's just for aesthetic reasons. It's like, who cares, right? And it looks cool. Um, moving on from that, uh, in terms of driving, it's, it's smooth, it's comfortable. It's a good daily driver car. Uh, Nissan's done a good job and the uh, CVT is responsive. That diesel's loud. But we're faster! Look at that. Sentra for the win. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah, it's it's a good car. So uh, total score with this SR package, $23,000. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think this car is a really good value. It looks great. It's got a good interior. Um, it's got nice safety tech. It's comfortable. It's inexpensive. I, I think it's a good value. So yeah, there's the Sentra SR. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video with this 2022 Nissan Sentra SR. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Nissan here in Murray for giving me some time with the Sentra. Check out their inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.